Hey, what's up? It's Elizabeth, Council of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're going to talk about Himalayan pink salt benefits, known as sole water or spelled soul water, coming up next. Hey guys, it's Elizabeth, Council of Low Carb, and on this episode, we're going to talk about Himalayan pink salt benefits and Sole Water, how it can best help you with keto and with intermittent fasting. But first, if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up and make sure you click subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you like this video, put pink salt below in the comments so I know to do more videos just like this one. So I've lost 67 pounds through keto, through intermittent fasting, and through my keto weight loss, I have used Himalayan pink salt which has huge benefits by using what's called sole water. And I've done another video about sole water. It's spelled S-O-L-E, but pronounced sole, like the sun, sole water, um, to use to help aid in intermittent fasting and with keto. So I'm gonna kind of dive into some of the benefits and how to make it, how to start using it for your weight loss with the pink Himalayan salt benefits that you can start getting today, my friends. So first thing that you're gonna need is some pink Himalayan salt. I'm gonna put all of these things in the description link below. Please do note that for using sole water, which is basically salt water, it has the effects of metal at the beach, which is corrosive. So you don't wanna use metal tops. I just happen to have these because of running around for filming realistically and I'm making one now so I'm getting it literally I'm doing it through this video I use this is my taco seasoning which by the way if you want my keto taco seasoning recipe I'll put that below but this is the lid that I use it's a mason jar but you want to get the wide mouth one for your sole water to hold your pink Himalayan salt you can get this from Costco Amazon you can get it from a ton of different places I just happen to buy mine in bulk because I use so much pink Himalayan salt the Himalayan pink salt benefits are, one, there's 84 minerals, mainly potassium and magnesium, which are huge for keto for preventing muscle cramps. If your legs are cramping at night, you need to drink some more sole water and up your magnesium and up your potassium. I do also take magnesium supplements, which I'll put in the description link below. I've done a ton of other videos on that as well. Um, but this helps aid in that, particularly if you're just getting the keto flu or having keto flu symptoms, the sole water is awesome to help. So what you first do is you take your pink Himalayan salt, you're gonna put it in your jar, and the, the mixture is one fourth pink Himalayan salt, three fourths distilled water. You are very smart folks out there and can figure out the math for your ratio. So if you're doing one cup, it'd be one fourth cup of pink Himalayan salt, three fourths cup of distilled water. And you wanna use distilled water um, or filtered water because it wants to not have any impurities because that could be corrosive with the salt water that you're gonna be drinking. So you're gonna mix one fourth cup. I just eyeball it at this point. Like I just keep it super, super simple. I'm literally just putting one fourth in here and then I'm using my son's little filtered water his distilled water here putting that in and you'll see that it's making this misty pink water and that you don't really want to drink this is an update from my last Sole video but you don't want to drink this so what you want to do is now let this sit and my ratio may be off so I'm going to fill it up with some more pink salt to make it one fourth pink salt three fourths water um, in here is you don't want it to be pink and cloudy. You see, you can see that it's cloudy. You want it to be pretty much see-through and clear um, because that means that the salt has fully absorbed in the water, which takes 24 hours to do. You can simply cover this with saran wrap. Again, no metal. Like you wouldn't want to put the metal lid back on because that could be corrosive and put bad impurities in the water that you're drinking. Um, so you'd want to cover this with saran wrap let it sit for 24 hours and then this is where it's game changer with having the sole water so what i do is i take you probably wouldn't have and this is another change from the last video i did also is i use about a teaspoon now i said before a tablespoon it just got to be too salty <laughs> after doing it for a while so i've cut down to one teaspoon per day so i use about like a fourth of a teaspoon half of a teaspoon i will do it in my awesome golden girls cup holler out there to my golden girls fans in a plastic cup again making sure it's plastic and not one of my amazing metal tumblers, no metal tumblers because that's corrosive. If you're even just having water or coffee, I'll put my coffee in there and put some of that in there. If you don't like having coffee, this is a great way to make it less bitter. 
by having it. I'll also have these bottles. I love these. Again, I'll link these in the description link below. Again, being mindful of the metal top, but what I like to do with these is I will put them with my filtered water, distilled water, put my um, half a teaspoon in here, and then that helps me through my fasting. So folks, for some of the pink Himalayan salt benefits with fasting, intermittent fasting, is it helps right out the hunger cravings. So if I'm starting to get hungry during my intermittent fasting and my 67 pound weight loss, I do get hungry. Um, this helps me stay satiated. It helps right out the cravings to then and again where I'm not full anymore. It's just my body fake craving. It's not really craving. It helps me right out through my fasting times to have as high as a 50 hour fast. I majorly use my sole water and my pink Himalayan salt. I would just pop some of this in my mouth like a pinch bowl. Um, and that helps keep the magnesium, the potassium, the 84 minerals helped keep my body full of minerals. Um, but more so the salty taste of it took away any eating that I wanted to do that made my intermittent fasting time longer, which is a great benefit. And helped with autophagy too, right? If you don't know what autophagy is, check out some of my other videos. So I would have my water, I would just chug it, put this in the refrigerator, you can make a couple of bottles. Again, just being mindful of the, the, the top is metal, so not like, like when you drink it, not letting it touch, <laughs> being like careful with that, or drinking out of plastic cups. But so the other benefits of that are, it's helping you with your minerals, it's helping with any sort of food cravings, which is the biggest one. And for me, the third one is helping aid in sleep. If you have sleep issues, anyone else out there like me, or where I'm a mom to a three-year-old, and I'm a businesswoman, and I'm a wife, so at the end of the day, my brain is churning, churning, churning as I'm trying to relax and go through my meditative state to fall asleep easily. This helps me sleep. I notice days that I don't have my Soleil water and days that I do have my Soleil water with a pink salt. There's something in the properties of the Himalayan salt that really gives such benefits and help aid in sleep um, that make me just calmer, not as anxious, and it's part of the magnesium potassium from my scientific research. Again, I'm not a medical doctor, so do your own due diligence and do your own research with this. But I, I love having this as the solely water as part of my routine, as part of my intermittent fasting, and as part of my keto. Um, Soli water is super, super easy to do. It's not super expensive. Just make sure again that you're scooping out the water after it's diluted. I need to fix this a little bit more and add some more pink salt. So I'm going to do that right now so you can see what an accurate measurement would be of the ratio. And again, it does not have to be like perfect. So for my perfect people out there, you can just take the perfectness down a notch because you're not going to get it here. This is where Royal Weight Loss meets real life. So that's probably the ratio one-fourth to three-fourths, that's about right. So I'm gonna let that sit overnight and then I'm just gonna start putting it in my coffee, putting it in my drinks, and the benefits of it are huge. Aiding and sweet fluff, helping me with less anxiety at night when I'm thinking about my day, helps with muscle cramps if you're getting the keto flu, majorly helps with the keto flu if you're just starting keto, um, and has a lot of other healing properties in it that I notice on days I have my Soleil water and my pink Himalayan salt, and days that I don't have my Himalayan salt, but that Himalayan pink salt, I can tell my body's just craving it. So much so that I carry around a Malton's tin. I don't have it in the video with me. But I'll put it in the description link below too, that I also use that it, not table salt though, using pink salt because of the mineral, the 80, because of the minerals involved in it. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a big old thumbs up. Make sure you click subscribe. Make sure you click the notification bell and put down in the comments below pink salt. If you want to do more, if you want me to do more videos, just like this one's the comments show me if I should do, if I'm doing videos on the right topics you want to hear. And if you want my free weekly Wednesday encouragement email, sign up below for countlessoflowcarb.com in the description link. It's a free resource that I have along with my crush it with countless weight loss stock course and also my Royal Weight Loss course. Those are paid courses where you can do it in a group setting or by yourself. So again, I hope you have learned a little something about Soleil water. Go get you some, have a tablespoon a day. It'll keep the doctor away. Make it a powerful day. Bye guys.